all right what's going on guys so today we have <laughs> a crazy video so it's currently one in the morning when i'm recording this um and you know my, my alliance leader boss oko hits me up online uh our alliance has been going through some changes we've been getting some new people some been, we've been going through a rough patch in war basically we missed the war that's where a lot of the problems came from but uh yeah so we, you know we've had some people come and go from the alliance recently uh and we need a new Killmonger, a, a rank 5 Killmonger. Um, so he asked me, he's like, hey, can you take your Killmonger to rank 4? And like, we have a war right now, like it's halfway through placement and he's working on D, the defense. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I can, I can take up Killmonger. He's like, can you do it right now? I'm like, yeah, I can, I can do it right now. Like, I can awaken him, take him to rank 4, and put like 76 stones in him. He's like, okay, awesome. I'm like, yeah, sweet. So I'm, I'm literally just watching Netflix, chilling in my bed, about, uh, about to go to bed watch some netflix you know uh i start ranking them up you know i'm i'm, I'm not in i'm not i'm at computer so you know i'm just screen recording this to rank up i'll make a video tomorrow or something and yeah just ranking them up get them all all ranked up here to 54 out of 55 and it's not quite enough i still gonna have to get a little bit more keep losing connection which is super annoying i'm trying to record the video you know and uh so yeah almost up to rank uh rank 4 level 55 and uh he says so he says like yeah, this will be my next rank five and he's like you cool with that like yeah i'm totally cool with taking killmonger as my next rank five i really really like killmonger actually he's, i think he's just a, a tremendous champion and uh, i'd love to have him at rank five and love to help out uh with him at rank five on defense so here i take a look you can see my wicked gems boom pop that bad boy into killmonger i was kind of saving for korg um my plan was to open up some five stars when he came to the pool on december something it's, it's the tuesday whatever the tuesday is um but yeah at this point you know it's like but whatever now i use my skill awakening gem so i don't even really want korg as much and if i still get him it'd be cool but i think we're good for korgs on defense anyways uh so like yeah i'm like i'm totally cool giving the awakening gem to killmonger if i pulled egg on i don't really have a use for him anyways so yeah like i i felt perfectly fine just popping this into killmonger i know he's gonna be my next rank five so you know i'm, I'm confident i'm feeling good about the decision uh the really only problem is i, I need some tier two alpha now to take him up to uh, rank five I'm, I'm pretty close on the tier five basic after this war season i should have enough if not the the next uncollected will push me over what i need um yeah it's really just the tier two alpha i need like five t2a now so hopefully we can get some for christmas um but yeah here we go here's killmonger all, all ranked up to sig 75 you know i'm feeling good and then i think to myself uh hey why don't i go open up uh, my five star crystal now um because why not you know i'm about to go to bed you know i i, I, I why not you know I'll, I'll put it i'll make a video about opening this five star another time not tomorrow since i'll upload the killmonger video might as well i kind of want to know what i get you know like i don't i don't like really saving crystals and i'm like i don't have to wait for uh for 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 Korg to be added anymore, I can just pop this thing open. So, yeah, this might, might as well spin out a four star first. Why not see what we get? Uh, and we get some skill eyes. So of course, after we ranked up uh, Killmonger, I just realized that. Uh, of course, we get skill eyes. So, and so you're like, yeah. all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and spin out this five star crystal. And you know, I really I really want to pull magic. Magic would just be so good because if I can get magic. I can rank five her. I could rank five her right now. I, I have one tier two alpha, and I could still rank five magic because I have a three. I think I have a two to three mystic gem. I have a three to four mystic gem. Two of them, one regular, one 2015, and I have a four to five mystic gem. So magic would be so good. Uh, I'd pop a generic waking gem in her, put a hundred generic six nodes into her, and I could start taking like path five. It'd be sick, man. It'd be so sick. Uh, awakening my Corvus naturally here would be phenomenal. Um, any other new champ would be pretty cool. Awakening Domino, Awakening Iceman, I'd be happy with that. And it's rolling out here, I'm like, oh, Corvus, nice. Oh, Awakening Carnage. What? Are you kidding me? Killmonger? Literally not five minutes after I used an Awakening Gym. Not even five minutes. Like, what? What? What are the odds of that, man? Are you freaking kidding me? Really? Not five minutes. I just... Oh, why? 
and then I think to myself, why didn't I open this first? I was I was thinking, I'm saving for Korg. It didn't hit me until after I used the Awakening Gem. I don't need to save for Korg anymore. Oh man, such BS, man. I can't. <laughs> Uh, that's the Mutant Awakening Gem wasted on Omega Red because I pulled him right after. Now the Skill Gem wasted on Killmonger. Unbelievable, man. But you know what? Whatever. 20 more six stones on him. Uh, kind of hurts that we wasted a, another Awakening Gem, but you know. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go play around with this Killmonger now, guys. <laughs> Alright, what's up, guys? We're back and uh, got some gameplay now. So I figured, you know, where's the best place to test uh, Killmonger? And I thought of Act 5, there's a couple annoying Spider-Man fights right at the start of a certain quest. And so this first one here is just a regular old Miles Morales, you know, nothing too special. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and brought the, the Winter Soldier Synergy so I can get True Strike by intercepting. Um, so, you know, like normally how Killmonger True Strike works is you have to basically punish a special attack really quickly and on miles here when you evade it so much you're so far back that even like as soon as you go in it doesn't count as quick quick enough to get the true strike so the intercept synergy really nice here i go went for the intercept at the start got the true strike right from the start of the fight and i pretty much hold it for the whole thing which is just really cool and i, I just man i just really like killmonger just how he works all the utility he has and just everything he has going on here miles tries to clip me with his l1 after i go in but pff, parried that sucker and then uh yeah we finished him off there and then so yeah actually i th the next fight i'll have to just teleport here and there's spider-man so yeah this spider-man is pretty annoying actually he has a he's a debuff immune spider-man so you can't stun him <laughs> he's, he's probably sick 200 as well so gotta start this fight we got pretty much just got a nail and intercept right off the bat uh, and I think, yeah, I go for one here and he, he evades. I'm like, okay, let's just chill. Wait till I feel feel right to go in. He blocks that one. Right here, I feel, I feel it, and boom, nail that intercept. And now we got the true strike up, so now he can't fade. So don't have to worry. Go for another intercept there, refresh the true strike. And once I have the true strike, um, and the reverberation active, I get a big damage increase actually from the signature ability, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, go ahead and drop the L2 here, we get some pretty nice crits. Uh, and, and yeah, we just pretty much finish them off here. So, first two fights went really well against Spidey, go ahead and bait the L2. And then we got a couple more fights, but I have to flip my, my recording. I'll, so I'll be right back, guys. It's, I'll explain this. Alright guys, I'm back, and I actually I jumped back into bed to record some of these fights uh, after I recorded the, the first part of this video, and I went went ahead and did all of this MODOK quest all the way up to the t two final fights here, Hulk and uh, MODOK, and I go to go to stop recording, and I wasn't recording, and I know, I know, I, I, I've forgotten like once before, but I know I recorded this time, and I looked at my, my pictures, and yeah, it just wasn't there, so I tried to record again. And this time I waited to see if it started, and it didn't. So if you saw in the first part of the video, it said my 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 uh, camera roll was basically full, so it stopped recording. So I went and did this Hulk fight, it went perfectly the first time. I did the Modok fight, it went like flawlessly. I recorded everything I wanted to record. The fight went exactly how I wanted it to, and it didn't record. So I'm like, okay, let's do it again. Let's do the path again. Uh, I want to get this Killmonger stuff recorded, done, and then I can go to bed. It's almost 2 in the morning now, uh, and I'm tired. I want to get some sleep. So I've been trying to, I, my sleep schedule's been pretty good. I've been going to bed like 1, like anywhere from 12 to 2, and waking up anywhere from like 8.30 to 10, so, which is good, because it, <laughs> it was really bad before I started going to school. So, yeah, good. This Modoc fight doesn't go as good as it does the first time. I don't Hey, but yeah, the, the premise is still the same here. So start the fight with a nice intercept uh, to get the true true strike active here. Go with another intercept to get the true strike. Keep going. As you can see, keep saying auto block failed. It's just, it's so nice to see that grayed out when it fails with having true strike up. You just feel like such a, a badass when you do that. The thing I, I love most about Killmonger, I think, is... Well, I just love all his utility wrapped up... Uh, in, in, in the champion but the part i love most i think is his l2 and the three indestructible charges that you get from it and the reason i like them so much is just because 
you can really get creative with them. So, you know, you can take block hits, take zero damage from block hits. So you can block specials, take zero damage, as long as it's not more than three hits. You can, you can take L3s. Um, a way I really like to play is, if I have the three, uh, three indestructible charges, I feel like, I feel like playing risky. So I, I'm gonna go for intercepts. I'm gonna I'm gonna play like a madman. And you know, if I if I screw up, if I get hit, well, three hits can do no damage. So you know, I feel like I have a little safety net. I just like I like that. I really like having that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just everything's got going on. So here, uh, I lost my indestructible charges. And then right here, I I go for an L1 when I I lost my true strike. So eat a combo. That's not good. Um, and yeah, right here, I think we. I try to get my true strike back and it's just not working. Uh, so yeah, bait the L1, get my true strike back, and then right here, I go for an L1 and I try to get the counter punch charger so I can retaliate with a heavy, but he actually used his heavy, but uh, he died as he was using it, so yeah, it was okay, but kind of sketchy there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hey, we got him down. So like I said, the first time I finished the fight with like 95% health is way better but hey all good uh i'm really happy with killmonger really happy i ranked him up i still cannot believe that i pulled him not five minutes after awakening him I... <laughs> uh yeah but i'm gonna get this uploaded for you guys to watch uh probably post in the morning uh but yeah i'm gonna go to bed hope you guys did enjoy this killmonger video let me know your guys thoughts what you guys think of killmonger i think he's just sick uh, any other videos, ideas you guys want me to do, let me know. Again, this is just rank 4. We're going to take him all up to rank 5 eventually. Um, after the season, probably. And I'm really excited. Killmonger, he's just really cool. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for, for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of me awakening him. Uh, and then pulling him from a crystal. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.